what have you thought about your early um, interactions with Coach Petrino, and uh, how do you like him as a as a coordinator? I mean, I love him. I mean, he's a very smart guy. I mean, he gives us like little every little detail of what we need to know about a play, and I mean, that's what it takes to be a quarterback. You got to know what, what what's going on, and just to be able to have that input coming from him in, in a positive way. I mean, it's been huge. It's been it's been really fun to to get coached by Coach Petrino. We'll go front row on the left side to Mark. OC change notwithstanding. How, more, how much more comfortable are you this summer compared to when you got here last summer? Oh, my God, it's not even close. I mean, last year, I mean, just coming in, any freshman, your head's spinning. You don't know what's going on. You're trying to just figure it out. And just to be able to be comfortable within the offense, know what's going on, know the checks, know the run checks, pass protections, and know where you're going with the ball. It's been, it's been just a crazy difference from where I was a year ago. We'll go front row on the right side to Cole and then Brent. Connor, it'd be very easy to ask you what your strengths are. So what are the strengths of Max Johnson compared to yours? Max, I mean, he's a very smart guy. I mean, he knows what's going on in the offense. Like, he's been around for a little bit. He has experience. And just his consistency, I mean, I admire it from him. I mean, every day he comes in and works. And, and I mean, that's all you can do. And I respect it out of him. And while you guys might be in a quarterback battle, he has two years of experience starting at LSU and then part time last year. What are some things that you can learn and pick his brain at? What was that? What are some things that you can learn and pick his brain at still? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's my brother. I do that. I, pick, I try and pick his brain as much as I can just to learn little things, what's going on with defense, fronts, and all that, and just to be able to ask him questions and just to go back and forth with him. And it's been a, a really cool experience. We'll stay front row on the right side to Brent and then Travis. Connor, did you grow up a Texas A&M fan? And what ultimately got you to Texas A&M? I grew up a college football fan. I mean, I didn't really have a specific school. But what got me here was, I mean, they treated me like family, just the, just the whole coaching staff. I mean, everyone in College Station. I mean, it was a different different feel than wherever else I was visiting and talk about other schools I was talking to. And I sat down with my dad, and he just told me, this isn't a four-year decision, it's a 40-year decision. And just to be able to get into the Aggie network and to go and get my degree and get my Aggie ring, I mean, I feel like that's, that's going to be a huge thing, especially living in the state of Texas. And say as a bonus, is it nice that you're it's so close for your family to travel and, and so forth? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, today's open practice. They'll be up here, and we're going to lunch after this, and I probably wouldn't be able to do that with them anywhere else. So I, I try and relish it and take advantage of those moments as much as possible. One more on the front row to Travis. Yeah, after, after the season ends and you hear new offensive coordinators coming in that might be a play caller, is that de destabilizing for you? Is that exciting? What is kind of the emotions when you first heard that before you kind of knew it was going to be Coach Petrino and what he brought? I mean, I really didn't know what to expect. I mean, there's a lot of rumors of a bunch of different names, and I, could, I guess try and control what I can control, come in and work my butt off each and every day, and whatever happens, happens. And I mean, I feel like it worked out for the best. And then what kind of boost does it give to have Anias back uh, with that wide receiver room and, and what he brings as a weapon to? Oh, it's a huge boost just to have his voice in the locker room. I mean, he's a leader. He's a veteran. I mean, he's been around here. He knows what to expect, and he can give that insight to everyone on the team. We'll go fourth row on the left side to Sam and then Tyler. Connor, when you got recruited here, I know you built a pretty strong relationship with Jimbo. What, give us a perspective on kind of how you feel about Jimbo and what he's meant to you and your development so far. I mean, he's meant a lot. I mean, he's been a head coach forever. He's won a national championship. I mean, he, he knows what to do and just be able to pick his brain on every little thing. And that's what I try and do. I try and learn as much as possible from him. I mean, he has a lot of knowledge on offense and football in general. And just to be able to pick his brain on little things like that, I mean, it's helped me a lot. As you guys have worked through the offensive scheme uh, development and evolve evolution this offseason, what excites you most about this offense as you head into the season? I mean, just to be able to throw the ball to these receivers. I feel like we have one of the best receiving cores in the country. And just to be able to give them a ball in space and let them go make plays. And I feel like that's what we're going to do. We'll go third row on the left side to Tyler and then Carter. Perfect. Hey, Connor, how much did the, the, your playing time last year, do you feel like, um, helped prepare you for, for now? And then how much do you feel like you have grown developmentally as, just as a quarterback from last year to this year? I mean, it helped me a lot. I mean, just to help go in and be able to get that experience against other SEC schools and just to get me ready for this year, I mean, I feel like it, it, it has helped me a lot. And it show, it's shown a lot of things with defensive tendencies and just to be able to pick up on little things like that. And then you said that the receiving core is what excites you and throwing to those guys. Because yes, of the weapons you have, do you anticipate there being a lot of, maybe not air raid, but kind of that kind of style offense? Oh, that's the plan for sure. I mean, 
give them the ball and let them go make plays. That's, that's that simple. I mean, so I was trying to tell Evan the other day, I mean, just throw a hitch and let him go 60 yards. I mean, that's the best feeling as a quarterback. We'll stay on that third row to Carter and then Alex. Connor, when you, when you think back to the Ole Miss and the LSU games from last year, what, what do you think you did particularly well in those games? And how do you feel like you can kind of build off that? I, I just feel like I got the ball out of my hands quickly. Like I said, I, I'm trying to give it to my playmakers as quick as possible and let them go make plays. Evan Stewart uh, was not on preseason All-SEC. I'm wondering what you made of that. <laughs> and then what do you think fans can expect from him this season? I mean, it's cool. I like to be uh, under the radar. Just don't, don't uh, have too many expectations and go out and shock the world. And I feel like that's what we're going to do. We'll go one more on that third row to Alex and then behind the lights. Hey, Connor, got a couple for you. Just how have you seen the leadership of this team change over the offseason and where you guys are at now compared to, to last fall? I mean, it's been huge. And it's not just a couple of guys. It's, it's dang near the whole team just being able to step up and show that maturity and know the work that we have to put in in order to be successful. And I feel like everyone's doing that. And just wanted to ask you about one of your teammates, Bryce Anderson. W what's your relationship like with him? And just how have you seen him grow in his game and just having to compete with him on a, on a daily basis at practice? I mean, that's my guy. I mean, we were roommates all freshman year. And we were tight. We pick each other's brains every day after fall camp last year and talk to each other. He gives me tips on what he, he sees I'm doing. If I'm bad with my eyes, he'll tell me, hey, you're staring stuff down sometimes. And I'll tell him stuff like, hey, sometimes you're too aggressive on this play. Like, we could do a double move and we can get you. But just be able to have that open dialogue with, with him. I mean, it, it's a truly special relationship that we got. Does his, does his background as a quarterback help with that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. We'll go back behind the lights on the right side to Justin to wrap us up. Hey, Connor, back here. You have a favorite uh, moment from last year? Favorite moment? I mean, it had to be the LSU game. I mean, that was awesome. Just as a freshman, I mean, that was our first big uh, home win. And just to be able to experience that with my teammates and the fans, it was truly special. Uh, Jimbo talked a lot about, you know, you can throw an interception if you don't take a chance, right? Mm -hmm. you, you didn't have one last year as a freshman. You had eight touchdowns. But you mentioned your weapon. So in your mind, as you go through camp and as you evolve, what, what's your mindset of taking a chance and, and checking it down? I mean, how, how, are you, how are you going with that situation? Like I told all the receivers, like, it's coming. One-on-one, -on -one, we're coming. I expect y'all to go make plays. Like I said, I, I trust them over anyone. I feel like they're going to step up, and nine times out of ten, they're going to make that play, and I'm going to give them a chance every single time. All right, that's it. Thank you, Connor. Thank you all.